Happy Thursday, everybody. What it's up? Me and Mr. Andrew. Indeed. Um, it's on the loose. <laughs> Is indeed. Are you Why impressed are you? that I remembered it today? You, you know what that perfect that straight it rolled a, off the top. A, a slight hesitation because I, I did slightly forget. Well, everybody's going to go back now and watch to try and pick up that There's hesitation. Slight, yeah, because like me, I think we got a little flicker of my eyes. But I'm that much of a public spokesman <clears throat> that I was able to overcome said issue. <laughs> So, what have we got yeah. this week? Um, what have we got? We've got not a lot, but we've got a little bit of, of stuff. Obviously, Nitro uh, was at the weekend, which I'm not going to lie, I still haven't watched all of the the like, the like decent racing um, the Sunday. I watched the battles. You still uh, not sold on them? Not really. I just think do more races. So Makes sense to me. A, but then it's a big aspect I like about Rallycross. I like the fact that qualifying, you have this slightly messed up thing where you don't want to get involved in somebody so you slow each other down, but you also need to win it and get the fastest time. You don't need to win it, we need to get the fastest time. Generally being at the front, you don't get the fastest time. I like the fact, and, and that's why I like Rallycross, because every race is something everything is interesting. There isn't a dull moment in Rallycross, really. Um, maybe Q1 in somewhat like the Worlds, because you can get a big separation of skill, or speed, I should say, rather than skill. Uh, and then, obviously, when you need to, like, Q2, Q3, Q4, you're, you're more even. But, so, I know the battles is a very, uh, it's an American thing, I believe it was in the GRC stuff. Um, I get it. I just don't think it's that great. Yeah. It's not a bad thing, but I, I get it. It's you know, and you know, I will admit I was watching. Um, oh, who was it now? Arpin and Pastrana in the final battle, and it was a good race. Yeah, I'm sure uh, like certain ones that you pick up probably yeah, will be really good, but you know, you know. Um, one of the Anson's put an insane move on somebody. <laughs> I can't remember who. Somebody uh, like a ridiculous move on him, but. Um, Good to see Arpin actually doing well in it because I don't know. I kind of I feel like I, I like him. I think he's all right. Um, but you know, yeah. Uh, so I need to watch that. But I, I came across something on the YouTube which I, I didn't know existed, and it, um, well, it it gave me life for the day. For a couple because, hours um, of the day. <laughs> For a couple hours. What the hell is this? What they call is that those, like? crap, those crap cars? Um, PT oh, Cruisers. Yeah. That's it. Like just PT Cruisers blasting around having some destruction oh my derby. God. Like that is. I um, bet yeah. they're so slow. I know, but you'd be having a hell of a lot of fun, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah, probably. But I mean, look, look at the numbers you now. I'm going to see for a bit later. Wait, I, is that an American flag on your hat? Look, he's really embracing I, it. I genuinely, I, I, yeah, I didn't even know that happened, to be honest, until it came up on the Instagram. I'm assuming it's on the uh, on, on the, the Sunday stream that I haven't watched. Um, oh, and some dude doing mad jet ski. I, I used to be able to do that. <laughs> well, no. Did you actually look that good doing it? No, I could not do that at no, all. I, I was going to say, were you a bit more? I like could me? not do the flips. I could no. jump out of the water slightly, but I worry about it. It's like when I used to like wakeboard and eelboard and all that stuff. I, I I thought I looked awesome. I look back now, and yeah, I was pretty crap. Um, that's the way. I had that. side. Note, I actually nearly started doing jet ski racing, but we decided <laughs> it were a bit too dangerous. Why? Because it is very dangerous. I know it is, but that's like... Like, it's more dangerous than, time. like... It's like motorbike riding dangerous and then yeah, racing dangerous. I mean, general, like, water sports is pretty... Because I was really into the, the speed boats. We had some real high power boats back in the day. Um, I just still miss the, ho the hooligan. Hoodlum, that was the name of it. 
the um, Phantom two and a half liter V6 two stroke um, race boat. It was absolutely insane. You, you couldn't keep it flat out for too long because it just blew up you know, the highway tune. Mm, um, but it was like one of the only boats around the area of North Wales where we, we went a lot that basically jet skis could actually go flat out behind and jump because yeah. it was the only boat that was faster than them. Because <laughs> it was mental. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, watching a lot of like speedboat racing as well growing up and obviously being interested in that, like some of those crashes, man, like when you get the air underneath them and they were flipping up like oh, oh. Yeah. Um my dad bought a Kawasaki like stand up one. And um, um the what were they called? The, like the uh, was it quite the a bit that, kind of one? Yeah, I'll see if I can yeah, I think I we may have had one of them. Um, I seem to think I didn't particularly ride it much, and I actually kind of think that no, it probably was the legs back in the day because I'd have very much struggled with it. Maybe oh, there's a lot of things as a child I didn't do because of my legs, which now makes a lot of sense. Yeah, so it, it turned out after we'd um, after we'd had it a while, it turned out that um, this guy it were actually like used to be this guy used to race it and yeah he was... I got told the one we had we, we raced quite a bit um, yeah um, didn't really use it much style um yes. yeah pipes yeah, yeah pipes that came out here that pumped hot water onto your hands as well which were like Ooh, a godsend fancy. <laughs> um, I suppose that would have made sense but your dad's um I guess it was on like the caravan was it on the yeah yeah. yeah um so yeah, the guy that used to own it ended up well, there one day, like when me and my dad were on it. Um, and he were like, oh, yeah, you're like really good on it. You, have you thought about racing? And at that point, I'm like, no, why would I do that? Um, but in reality, we probably wouldn't have had enough money to do it. So, no. you know. Most of my always got that with the boats, like, um, you know, when my dad paid for things. So I, I did things. Um, you know, a lot of speedboats and, and seen some of that racing, like, oh, it was insane. It had been a hell, you know, really impressive to do, but just mental. And yeah, I mean, the thing is, if you crash, happened. if you crash in that as well, like, and get knocked out, like, you're probably going to drown, aren't you, really? Like, more than likely, yes. I mean, the, the hoodlum that we had, I mean, that bucket seats in, the, the front seats were bucket seats with. Handles for you to hold on to, like, that's, spot it yeah, in something. That's, that's it crazy. Awesome. It was, um, and it, you know what? I'm going to try and find some pictures of that if I've got any. Oh, I'll get some off my dad and show you because it was sick. Uh, I don't know why we're talking about speedboats on a bloody uh, rally. But I, boats. you know, on the loose, it's, 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 close, it's on the loose, you're right. I mean, it's uh, mental. It's close, I, uh, yeah, I guess uh, that's what oh, I when, when, you, when you're back in trailer, in it's on the loose, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Being that the, the child, I was the one stood in the water, holding that thing like freezing cold in the North Welsh Sea. Yeah, yeah. it wasn't as bad in the sun, sunny yeah. Scunthorpe where we yeah, were. <laughs> flipping tide going out. I mean, that tide right through there. I mean, on the Menai Straits you got, which is the bit between Anglesey and, and the mainland, like, there's a section of that water there where it's it's got the swellies. It's somewhat like the third or fourth most dangerous bit of you know inland stretch of water and the, as the tide goes out and you've got a, a strong pull of the tide it rips the water so it starts to like actually whirlpool so I've been through God. there before now and like been piloting like one of the speedboats and actually been turned and like people fucking jet ski through it and, that's crazy like, they, or they're going on like um, water skiing like yeah. they clearly don't know what to do because you would come. I mean, once we would come up to it and it was at a full tide turn and it was seriously, seriously starting to up. And that's like fucking just flag someone down because they were about to go and jet ski through it. And all like, there were people have died in this stretch of water because you're being a moron. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we never went in to see because you have to like to clean them out because it's so on. Yes, stuff, you but... do. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's easy enough. Um, we had like mufflers you put over the intakes and mush it through. Or you, um, if you're really careful, you get a massive drum. Just stick the outboard in that. 
I think we have mufflers for the inboards, big drums for the outboards. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Back anyway, on getting on to actual cars. what we're going to talk about, people. Because, Shall um, I um, show the little... Yeah, go board. for it. So, uh, like I said, I've not watched much. And he's got a little on board of um, my namesake, Holly Bennett. My namesake. Well, I've got the same last name as him, haven't I? No, oh, yeah, I suppose. Um, we've got no sound. Ah, be right. I can't even make out what he's doing. I know other than he's going over some jumps. Yeah, I mean, pretty much. Mm, what what just... do you think of these tracks? I mean, they're pretty cool, aren't they, really? Yeah. Um, you know. The, I mean, they're, diff- they're crazy, aren't they, really, compared yeah. to... European rallycross tracks. Yeah, um, I think it's very much. It's almost like a, a different animal to to worlds. Oh yeah, definitely. To, to what have you. Uh, I, I, I wonder how. Yeah, I wonder how good the actual like overtaking and stuff is. Because like some of the corners, it doesn't look to be that many. Overtaking yeah, opportunities. that was something they were saying about this one. But there was some ridiculous moves put in. Um, you know, like I say, Hanson. Uh, this is a bit where they go on the underpass and somehow he, he, he well he put the other guy into the wall and he, he got past. Um, <laughs> it's a lot of, I suppose, because of the kind of, um, you know, it's all loose. You know, it's yeah. all all dirt, and there's a lot of and you'll see him a lot going wide on corners, going up the bankings. Or Pastrana did, um, I must admit, on the battle with with Erpin, Erpin, sorry. Um, he, you know quickly rotated the car around knowing Arpin was going to kind of use it to get on the inside so strategically there, there was impacts but it is, you know, it, it does seem it, it chews up a lot um, yeah. you know, it's hell on the cars um, but I think, you know there was very much I think coming into the season you know, because obviously people were, were really bashing Worlds which I think has died down a bit now because obviously the world is worlds. It's the quality of the racing, albeit it is a Hanson bias nowadays. Yeah. Um, well, it pays the at times. Um, you, you know, that it is a very different animal. It's a very much. I think if you come from like an extreme sports side of things, then it. You know, it's got that. You know, I, I I'm a big extreme sports lover. Um, I think you know. I think it's really cool. Um, it's not, in my opinion, the same level as Worlds. It's you know, it's like a one below. But I think I am excited for it to come over to Europe just because I want to see what they're going to do. I want to yeah. see if they will come over next year to Europe. If it will be part of the main one, or if they're going to try and do like a separate Nitro European thing. Um, I want to see if the American guys are going to come over to Europe. Um, I imagine you'll get an influx of, of the European drivers as well. I think that'll be really cool to have a few more up, and it will be interesting to see if they create new circuits. Like obviously this one, this one was next up up in Highway, so we're American. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, which which in itself also had some interesting factors because they had to keep it wet because they couldn't bust out the the road, um, the motorway. Um, so, yeah, I am quite looking forward to seeing it coming over to York because I think it could be really cool. Um, yeah, it'd be interesting to see who joins it as well. I it, right? hope it comes to the UK because I want to go to one. Um, yeah, it would be good you know, to see. Not put on poor and shit. I think I have a passport, actually. <laughs> I mean, fuck it, I can't even go out of the country. I don't want to double vaccinated, so. Yeah, <laughs> Just get left at home. Um. But yeah, other Nitro news. So, so anyway, Pastrana won, which is nice. Yeah, I think he's, cool. I think he's topping the rankings in it. I realise I don't actually know if Nitro Rallycross has a website because I couldn't find it. Surely. Well, I, I typed it into my phone the other day and just came up with a lot yes. of dirty stuff. Oh, does it? Oh, hang on. No, I've I've just googled Nitro RX and it comes up with Nitro CR. RCX, which is remote control cars. Make, makes sense. Nitro, because they use nitro fuel all the time. Yeah. Oh, did. I don't really know. Uh, no, speaking, yeah. Speaking of that stuff, I've come across RC Drifting again recently. So fucking cool, man. So cool. Until I looked at the price of it. 
Yeah. Um, Realised that's that's money to Osmond BMW. Yeah, it don't look like they do have a website. Mm. Oh, Nitro World Games will be on that. Oh yeah, it'll be on that. Then. Yeah. Fair enough. So, uh, yeah, I think um, I think Pastrana's at number one. Timmy's at two, and Scott Speed, I think, is at third. Scott Speed, he uh, what did he used to do? Rallycross. Did he not do something else as well? Probably like circuit um, racing. He, he may well have done. I know he did the. ARX was it or GRC? Probably did NASCAR or something. Everybody does NASCAR at some point. What was that? They? Was that NASCAR driver in it this time? Everybody was getting really excited about it. I don't know if I got a clue who he was. Um, <laughs> Why would we though? Well, that's it. I have no idea. Um, but lots of people seem to be raving about the fact. That he, I think he got four for summer as well. So he actually did really good. Now, I think yeah, NASCAR. Kyle Bush. 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 Boucher, I don't know, whatever the hell you call it. <laughs> Something um, like that, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know anything about NASCAR. No, I don't either. They have not, little flaps a on the car. I don't stop know spinning. anything about NASCAR. No, I don't either, really. It's, it's an oval, it's a bit, bit bland, isn't it? I mean, it must do something right, because Americans love it. <clears throat> I realise that cough yeah, is a all... genuine cough and not a sarcasm cough, by the way. Just... Yeah. I mean, it's all rednecks that watch it, isn't it? So, you know. How to isolate an entire... Well, we think... Fine. I'm sure they don't watch this. No, they don't. Okay, I'm all about UK anyway. UK well across the world. Um, on, the, on the demographics, we only get Europe, so it's fine. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, what do we get? UK... What else have we got? Oh, let's have oh, we got some Hungary one. recently because of the uh, terrible two summit work. <laughs> yeah. Legends, Sobby and uh, Shabba. Love you guys. Um, yeah, what else? I don't know. Somewhere else. We got some random ones every now and again, I noticed, in Europe. Yeah. But uh, not, not a lot of American. Um, Bing.com, 5.9%. What? There you go. 5.9%. Come from Bing.com. Zero percent comes from DuckDuckGo.com. <laughs> what the fuck is DuckDuckGo? Is that Ooh. not a bit like Start Page? It's a non. Because you know, like Google's quite top corrupt. top ge top geography is Italy. Nine point six percent. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's uh, not true. Italy, France, Indonesia, Spain, then UK. Can't say I've ever spoken to anybody who's watched those chatting absolute crap from Indonesia. Two point five percent United States. I'm sorry, guys, if you're watching this, I apologize. Well, that's two point five percent gone now, isn't it? Because you've just called them all rednecks and said that the sport's crap. So, I'm sure we'll get over it. Uh, yeah. So, well, what was the going to say next week? <laughs> God, you're putting me off here, mate. Right, next thing. We're sticking with Nitro. And we're going with this. So this is the FC1X. Tell me what you think. At first glance, it looks like um, a Tesla. So it looks boring from the front, but I'm sure it doesn't from every other angle. So, yeah, right. Uh... I don't know, I wish Tesla's look like that. It looks a bit... It just like the front bumper looks a bit bland, but then I'm sure well, the arches make well. up for it. Yeah, and it's the whole rad sort of thing in it, and it's, it's yeah. a thing that I often feel with electric cars. I'm so used to seeing an aggressive like grill on a, you know, a, what I would class as a nice-looking sports car, that it is weird, and I can't stand where they've got latency and just covered it, because I think it looks a bit poo. Like, um, but yeah, this is the UK. Just saying, America. Um, it looks well. What do you think? Do you think it looks good? Yeah, good because I was just going to tell you, you were wrong if you said no. Um, I do quite like it, I'm not gonna lie. I think it looks a bit for you know, they've, they've taken it to that point of that stupidity element. 
that obviously a lot of people do with electric stuff. Um, you know, where it looks a bit spacey, a bit alieny, but they've just kept it about right, I think. So, uh, what are they using that for? So it's a rallycross car for nitro, right? Thousand horsepower, uh, four wheel drive, obviously. They can not to a hundred kph, which is what not to sixty two, is it? Uh, yeah. One point five seconds. Wow. Um, three Gs of acceleration. It, but oh it's going to be used in the race of champions in February. Yeah. Uh, up at the um, Sweden. Yeah, Sweden, isn't it? Snow and ice. So, are they going to have a separate class of just them racing? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so in, in Nitro, um, you know, and this is something that obviously is kind of gone in a bit was developing this now this is mental the car obviously i know that ollie bennett of excites got one of it. i think uh Granol rx have got one in there's, there's like four or five people already kind of put in that you know they're having one he will be keeping the supercars on yeah i'm gonna say um, you kind of want to keep that going as well don't you? exactly you know at the end of the day what, what they're doing as well is they're doing a 100% biofuel, I think, for yeah. the which obviously helps with that product. It, obviously, I, I don't know the, the difference in NOx, CO2, and all that production, which obviously is the, the big um, issue. But the fact that they are making starts to, to do that, I think, is cool. Yeah, um, it seems like having this, this element. Quite a few places are going to, well, quite a lot's going to go down that. Biofuel yeah. route, isn't it? Well, it, it's got to be the start of it, hasn't it? Um, you know, there has to be changes, and you know, obviously, yeah. we don't completely want to get rid of ice. And, and you know, they certainly think like, you know, I don't think F1 will ever be out of it or anything like that. Well, no, it just, um, it, it'd just be a bit pilots, really, wouldn't it? Cause, yeah, you know, that's it. Um, um, but I think that the development of a car like that's very impressive. Um, it looks cool. Uh, it's had quite a bit of manufacturing input as well, I believe, from the likes of... Um, well, it, it was Allsberg M- MSC, QEV, who I think did Arvix 2E, didn't they? QEV, Summit. Oh, they did oh, something. Um, and I think there's been like Subaru and some of the sort of input from some other manufacturers as well, which I think is quite cool. Yeah, um, yeah so... From what I've, I understand, it'll be a separate class. There'll still be supercars. And what I think I read in an interview with Pastrani was saying is like, look, when people go into these, you know, ridiculous fouls and horsepower things and they become all the, you know, the top level, I suppose, it makes the supercars cheaper. That's true. Which, if it does, cool. Yeah. Um, obviously, I, I, I'd assume so because then more of them become for sale, maybe. Um, so what he's actually hoping is that there will be more people coming in for the supercars as, as the time goes on, which I think is interesting. You know, I think it's interesting when you look at Worlds as well, you look at Worlds and Euros, Euros is staying, you know, RX1 supercars, uh, while your while Worlds go to this, what's it called, Kiesel? It's not the, the, you know, the, the new motors, the electric motors. Um, and you know, Euro has a, a, a nice entry anyway with some quality drivers, so that would be interesting to see if that similar sort of thing happens there. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to hearing more about that car. I think it's pretty cool. And then to finish off, um, finish this off. I thought was was yeah, you know I thought this was quite quite cool. So uh, where is it? There we go. So a little BBC News article. <laughs> Um, people have probably seen, but it's a little yeah, article yeah. On, on high speed electric. Which this is some mad. Apparently, they're gonna start racing these next year. Which um, 62 miles per hour on a scooter uh, that just that doesn't seem dangerous. right to me. Yeah, it, it just seems a bit, a bit mental. But fair play to them if you want to do that, go for it because that's pretty whatever. Um, but I thought it was cool. We got a bit of. As we scroll down, so obviously it went into extreme as well, which is, is obvious. And 
and it also kind of touched on the, you know, I think it touched on the fact that maybe that was just me thinking of the, the crashes that Extremely have had and, you know, which have kind of come out all right. Uh, and then we got a little bit of uh, Shirley Gibson and the Electro um, getting a bit of UK Rallycross on there. Oh, that's good. Which I thought was really cool. Um, obviously, they didn't have this the finish to the season that oh. they wanted because it was cancelled. Um but you know, they, they they've been a few articles now where you know uh, Shirley's. So I don't know if I've told you this before or not, but Shirley um, is the coordinator for Retro, which obviously is incredible. Love Retro. Um, I think some of the most beautiful looking and sounding and, and really good racing. Um, but they're also doing the Electro series, which started off with the Fiat's. Um, I, I assume they're going to be running them next year. Um, I know obviously there's a bit of a mix of the racing itself was very good, but there was a bit of a, I suppose, an underwhelming sense to some degree of the um, yeah. the problem, which obviously we've mentioned before. Um, but the actual racing was, was excellent. What Electro I've got in the the you know pipeline. Um, with Ilman Racing as well, um, is it's going to be awesome. I think it's going to give that um, spectacle, you know, that you, that you want to see. Um, yeah. Don't get me wrong. Obviously, we all struggle with the noise, the feeling, the smell. Um, but there's a, you know, at the end of the day, uh, what happened ten years ago, what happened twenty years ago, affects now and. I think it's cool that we're at least trying to do something, even though it's too late. Further down, uh, ethical, yeah. and you know, uh, just also to make sure that Rallycross lives on, because at the end of the day, things are going to get more. And whether you are into sustainability, like myself, from an engineering point of view, um, more than anything else, just because of the interest in it. Um, Shit's got to change. Shit will change, and this is very much we keep going and we keep what we love with the ice cars and you know the older stuff and there's, there's ways developing for that. And there's also this a new element coming along and don't get left behind. I think because yeah. very quickly you'll have even less interest than more people are seeing. So. You know, it's cool. Uh, I'm very much looking forward to the future of that because when you get in the Fiestas, you get rear-wheel drive, you get power. It's going to be awesome with the torque that they're developing. So, yeah, I thought it was really cool to see you know, watching that now. So, big up, Shirley. Uh, I also saw um, there's a video on you, uh, an advert on YouTube going through a minute about um, electric go-karts, which I thought that'll be pretty cool. Yeah. I thought that with cross cars actually as well, a little mad cross cars which we'll be doing um, a bit of something on soon actually with uh, yeah uh, BTRDA uh, championship. I thought they'd be cracking the little electric motor, lightweight. Want to have to have big motors in them? No, yeah, we put a small motor in them. Should be all right. But then obviously you've got to set the batteries and stuff a lot more. So, but you know, mm. cleverer people than I. Deal with stuff like that. Yes. Masonry support and things. Indeed. So, uh, so I think that's all it, it huh? Yeah. Uh, next week. Don't know. WRC is on. Oh, it is. It's Monza, isn't it, this weekend? Mm, uh, yes. There is. No, no, uh, I think it's. Oh, it might be next weekend, actually. Oh, the weekend after. Oh, yeah, I did just look, but. Um, um, Nitro's on again next weekend. Oh no, yeah, 18th of November. Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah, WRC. So that'll be the Stock Car Pro Series in Brazil. Yeah, man, I'll be watching that. To be honest, it does have a big following. I'm sure, it does. Yeah. Um, Nitro's on. I'll probably watch. I'll watch some of that. Um, and then the week after's the biggie. The final of the WRX. Feels like we've been waiting a long time for that. That's because we have. Yeah. 
But we've got some cool stuff coming up after that. Um, Indeed. So I'm really looking forward to the guests we're going to have on uh, for the show after that. Uh, really good. Yeah, good mate of ours now. And it's going to be very good. Uh, and then another with him. And then we'll start having to start getting the ass around the UK, mate. See some people. See some peeps. Indeed. Indeed. Things. So happy times. Stay safe, everyone. Catch you all later. See ya. And do YouTube things that I should have said at the beginning. I need to start saying that at the beginning. Click this button. That one. And a note bell thing. And... Later. Too late for this. <laughs> Bye.